Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe, and today we're going to be recapping Taylor Swift at the Chiefs game on Monday night, Monday night football. Haven't seen Taylor in a little while, so it was a fun surprise. Well, not a surprise. We all knew she was going to be there, but it was fun to see her after a few weeks of Taylor not attending the Chiefs games. It was fun to see her back at Arrowhead rooting on Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs. We're going to get into all of that, what she wore, who she was with, what Travis and Taylor may be up to now that the Chiefs have a bye this upcoming weekend. So lots to discuss. Full disclosure, I have no agenda. I am truly just riffing going from my head here. So if we're a little all over the place, it's going to be great. We're just going to roll with it. I did want to first touch on the fact that it was Travis Kelsey's birthday this past weekend. He is now 35 years old. Um, he had his annual Kelsey car jam fundraiser on Saturday on his actual birthday. He obviously brought out lots of fans, people supporting Travis, his foundation, um, wanting to support, obviously, one of their Kansas City legends. His brother, Jason Kelsey, was also in attendance. Jason, for those who don't know, um, works for Monday Night Football and works for ESPN. And because the Chiefs were playing on Monday Night Football, Jason came to Kansas City for the weekend to obviously see his brother, be here for his birthday. Kylie Kelsey was also in attendance, which is always fun. I love Kylie and she's the best. Um, Travis and Jason's parents, all of all of the Kelsey family were there. Um, Taylor was not in attendance and actually Travis was asked about if Taylor was going to be at Kelsey Jam at Kelsey Jam and he was like, no, she's not going to be here, but she'll be at the game on Monday, um, which makes sense. Listen, Taylor, I feel like we've talked about this a thousand times, but her life is so chaotic. It's so hectic. If she goes anywhere, it's mayhem. And I can totally understand her being like, listen, I'll go out in public for the Chiefs games. I'll show myself whatever, but I need to limit the amount of times that I am around a horde of people because it's a lot. It's a lot. But the Kelsey GM looked great. Hope everyone had fun if they went. Um, and then fast forward to Monday night, and we obviously, again, get Jason, Kylie, the fam, and Taylor shows up, and she looks fantastic. I don't know if anyone else has been noticing this. Taylor's been wearing a lot of plaid recently, a lot of plaid. A lot of her outfits over the last maybe month or so, plaid. She wore plaid to the VMAs. She wore plaid, I believe... It was one of those nights that she was celebrating the Ares tour in London. She was wearing plaid. She wore plaid last night at the Chiefs game. Now, one could just say it's fall and plaid is what you wear in the fall, which is true. But with Taylor Swift, there's always something a little bit deeper going on. So I don't know if it has any real meaning. It may have no meaning at all. She might just be really into plaid these days. <laughs> but I did think it was interesting. It was such a cute outfit. Um, like knee high boots, adorable. She also had this, um, they were like glitter freckle type things on her face, which at first I was kind of like, huh, that's an interesting choice. Like I would, I would see someone doing that for a music festival or something, not necessarily a cheese game, but I liked it. It looked really pretty on her. And I always like when someone just tries stuff, takes a risk, has a little fun. So she looked amazing. Beautiful as always. Her dad, was in attendance as well, which I just have to imagine Scott Swift is just absolutely loving all of this. He is probably, I know he played football in college, I believe. So the fact that his daughter is now dating Travis Kelsey, one of the best football players ever, has to just be so cool. Playing for the Chiefs, a great team. Uh, he has to just be living his best life. And last, or I guess, yeah, last time that the that Taylor was at a Chiefs game, she brought her mom and her brother. And so now she gets to bring her dad. And it's just, once again, I just love seeing the families mingle, combine. Um, I think it's really, really cool and really fun. And I'm just happy they get to spend that time together. I think it's really sweet. It's also going to be the last Chiefs game that Taylor will be able to go to for a while because she's going to be back on tour um, playing some some sh some shows. So I could see her also kind of wanting to, you know, get that game in with her dad before she has to go off and hit the road again. Um, she re 
connected, reunited with some of the WAGs. I saw videos of her with Brittany Mahomes. I saw videos of her with Nicole Hartman's fiance, Kiara, I believe is her name, um, some other people just having a blast. Taylor always has a blast at these games, always has fun, always is invested, locked in. The Chiefs got the win. They are now 5-0, and undefeated, which is really cool and has to feel awesome as well. Um, and now they have a bye week. So for those who don't know football, every team has at least one weekend of the season where they don't have a game. Everyone else has a game, but they don't. They have it off. Um, and so Taylor and Travis can kind of do whatever they want during this bye week. For those who don't remember, last year – during the Chiefs bye week was when Travis went to Argentina to watch Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, um, the first time as a couple, and it was the first time we got Karma as the guy on the Chiefs. So um, good memories with Chiefs bye weekends. I don't know what they're going to do. I, I have to imagine because Taylor is obviously going to be back on tour in a couple weeks, less than a couple weeks, I think, um, they probably won't do anything too crazy. The Kansas City Royals, the baseball team in Kansas City, has a playoff game on Wednesday in Kansas City. And I know Patrick Mahomes talked about going to the game. And so part of me kind of wonders, hmm, will Travis and Taylor maybe hang out in Kansas City for a couple more days, go to this playoff game with Brittany and Patrick? That wouldn't surprise me. It also wouldn't surprise me if they just jet out immediately after like today and go to New York or someplace, someplace where they can kind of, you know, have a little bit more, um, they can kind of do more, go out to dinner, et cetera, you know, have a bit more, I I was going to say privacy. It's not really privacy. It's just more, there's just more options for them, I guess, in a place like New York. Um, so that wouldn't shock me. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously I'll cover it all whenever it happens. It'll be fun. Um, so yeah, they'll have this little time off ability to kind of rest, recharge, and then, Taylor's back on tour. Travis is back playing football again. It's crazy that we have just a couple of months left of the Eras Tour ever. Um, It feels like it's been going on for a long time, and also it feels like it just started. It's kind of weird. I'll be going to a show in just about a month or so, which is really exciting. So I'm going to obviously share my experience with all of you, which will be great. I cannot wait. Um, So yeah, that's kind of it for the Taylor Swift um, recap Chiefs recap of the of of the week as always if Taylor and Travis do anything over the next handful of days weeks I'll be covering it we'll make sure to talk all about it if you haven't subscribed to our channel please make sure to do that follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time bye